Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just love to and welcome to my returning stuff, my phone extended beautiful family. Give yourself a pat on the back because we done been through hell and back so many times. We probably got passports and stamp too many times and frequent flyer miles. So give yourself a pat on the back because you don't went through so much and you're still here. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you're comfortable now, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're beginning to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're up, tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you toward the positive direction. Also, um, if you uh, feel like the videos are very informative to you or just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, um, or even a fellow empath that are going through trying times and they need assistance with uh, spiritual guidance uh, or they need confirmation and validation towards the life path, the sole purpose, um, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Um, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the background music I'm using is Chakra Healing, Spiritual Journey, Aura Crystal Cleansing, uh, what is it, 2,675 hertz plus 432 hertz pure relaxation music, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka. Real ish expose fake people. Be grateful for the experience and trust your process. You know, there's a lot of times it's like, you know, we go through many things in life, you know, especially with us as being empaths, you know, we always, you know, we always tend to go out uh, the extra mile for people. And then when it comes to our dark times, you know, it exposes, you know, your true friends, you know, and that's the thing, you know, we get really upset about because it's just like, I've, you know, I've done it. I know people that have done it, you know, um, you know, you're just saying, you know, I went all out for this person. I did this and this and this and that. And when I truly needed them, they weren't there. And, you know, I've experienced that. I have a world of my fair share about that, but it's just like, we have to be able to look at it as a blessing in disguise. Because that's the universe is allowing you to have the spotlight on people that truly don't need to be in your life in the first place. You know, I'm um, going through this journey of finding out, you know, my biological family who they, you know, I, you know, I'm related to and stuff like that. It showed me a lifetime experience. You know, some things I got really heard about. Um, some I'm very grateful for as well. You know, I'm always grateful for the experience because it's taught me something. You know, whether it's good or bad, it's always teaching you something. You know, but don't allow somebody else's character of you being used or you feel like you're being used um, allow you to change how you are when it comes towards loving people or caring for people. You know, at times when we're going through really troubled times, we always ask the universe, well, at least I know I do, I don't know how you do it, um, is to always ask, you know, reveal to people that are not supposed to be in my life. You know, reveal those things to me. And there's a lot of times it comes in so many different ways. Um, it is just like you'll just know things is not right towards you or they'll say certain things to make you question. Or, you know, you have to be able, you're walking on eggshells when it comes to certain people. You're very careful about what you say. If you have to be any of those things, those folks don't need to be around you. Um, I've lost a lot of family from my situation um, that were aware of it and unaware, you know, and it was just like with my situation, I feel like if you, you know, how many people didn't know because there was a lot of people in my life, it's just like certain things they would say that made me question them, you know, um, being able to see people that hung around my mom's ex-husband and his wife's family. There was too many people that knew about that, you know, and I was a mar I made a mockery of, you know, there are certain people that I don't even know. <laughs> they know certain people that I know, but they know my business, you know, and it was just at that point where, you know, I it was just like, it was the worst feeling I could ever possibly go through. You know, it's just like I've been there for people, you know, especially during the spiritual awakening. 
you know, being able to have that gift to be, you know, like I call it, it's like a empath social worker, being able to tell people about their past lives, um, being able to tell them this is the reason why you're going through th- certain things, these are the reason why you might be guided towards certain things or you see certain things in visions or as dreams, you know, being able to be that blessing in somebody's life. But it's like when God and the universe allows you to connect with people, they never ever said that they were meant there to be there to stay. You know, a lot of people come in our life to hurt us. A lot of people comes in our life to teach us. A lot of people comes in our life just for them to learn off of us. You know, and it's just like if they're meant to be there, they'll be there. If they're not, they're not. You know, it, it just comes in times like this. You know, uh, they'll allow you to see who is really there for you. There's a lot of people that, you know, dry con- congratulated me. You know, um, they were like, mm, you know, whatever. You know, they would be they would be very supportive, like if they were on the phone with me or, you know, if we were texting or whatever. But it was like if I made a post about certain things, you know, they would never say anything. You know, they'll send me like a, a like a, um, what was it, like a, ch- a text from Messenger or something. Like, you know, when it came to my dad's birthday, people would send something or, you know, they would try to, you know, send me a friend request around that time just to be able to see how I was respond to certain things like that. And it was a hurtful experience because it's just like if anybody else has lost a parent, they know that's really hard. And it's just like, you know, nobody's situation is worse than anybody else's. But the worst feeling you can ever have is knowing that you're related to somebody that's a public figure and they have passed on, you know, and it's still up in the air about what truly happened. That's a lot to deal with, you know, and it was just like dealing with these situations has not been easy for me. You know, I've everything has been a learning experience for me and I'm grateful for everyone, you know, um, being able to go through that and just being able to see people for what they truly were. Um, like I've said before in the past, if you know you've been with me for a while, you probably heard me say it. There's a lot of people that did know the truth that my mom has told, you know, what was her dying declaration when she was dying. She there was people that she know that was very close to her. And she asked, you know, while I'm living and my daughter doesn't get a chance to meet her biological family, please let her know the things that I've told you and help her find her family. You know, her, my ex-husband and his wife doesn't want her to know, but I always wanted her to know. I want you to make sure she knows that I always wanted her to know. This is the reason why, you know, we got a divorce because of this situation. You know, so it's just like when my dad was murdered, um, all of a sudden people came hush hush. You know, it was it was just like a lot of people knew because I know it was like certain things. It was crazy how my dad had a a hairdresser named Kim and it just so happened. I had a hairdresser named Kim. Um, Anytime my dad had a new hairdo, she made sure she gave that one to me as well. And she's like, don't you ever see anything? I said, yeah, I see me, you know, but it was like that time she doesn't know that, you know, I went through, you know, your, you know, months and months of therapy. So it was like any time somebody would just bring up that P word, I wouldn't fa- it wouldn't phase me. So I just, you know, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know, these different things. So, excuse me, all these situations that I went through, it allowed me to see people's true colors. You know, there would be people that met me through this, you know, this platform that found out it was true. And they tried to make sure, they prayed about every single thing to make sure I never got that connection back. You know, and I would be so hurt, like, you know, I really went out my way to help you. There was things about you you wouldn't even have known if it wasn't for me. And this is how you give me, you know, this is how you repay me back. Make sure, you know, you try to keep me away from my family. How would you feel if somebody did that to you? You know, I've known people that, you know, I, I looked as godparents, new situations, and they still stayed away from me. But, you know, they had their hand out for help, but they didn't want to help me connect with my family again that was the most hurtful thing but then I'm actually blessed they didn't help me as well you know because I had to really step back and see that bigger picture of everything I went through it was the hardest thing you could possibly ever go through knowing you know even though you're you're trying so desperately to heal but my dad's pictures are all over the place there's people putting out certain things that's not true about my dad so there's a lot of things that go you know up around you know about my dad that is very sensitive to me so you know, deal with all these different things, you know, it's a day by day process and it will strengthen you. <laughs> it will really, 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 really strengthen you. This is why I just, you know, I commend, you know, Michael Jackson's kids, you know, even though they might not be biological his or whatever, you know, whatever the situation is, those are still his, his kids. But, 
you know, for them to be able to have to do with that. I give them so much props for being who they are, but it's, it's at least with them, it's a blessing that they had some kind of family they could turn back on. And that's where my strength comes in because it's just like I never really had family that I can go to. All the ones that actually knew about my situation is passed on. So it was just like me having to be against the world. It sounded like Tupac, me against the world. <laughs> so, you know, being able to open my life up towards people I don't even know, to be able to say, you know what, it's been hard for me. It's a daily, you know, on a daily basis, I have to look at myself and say, you're strong. You are really strong for the things you know, for the things you endure. You are a very strong person, you know, especially if you still haven't got closure yet. You know, um, that's a lot to deal with. And I feel like everything happens for a reason. You know, I've cut a lot of people out of my life just because of those situations. You know, I felt like, you know, if you even knew about it, and, you know, I had to be honest with people. I don't know if you didn't know about it or if you didn't. But just the fact is, I, you know, I know how, you know, loose lips sink chips. You know, all these people are talking about this situation. And there are some people like, oh, I thought you knew. I say, if you think I did, you think I'd be struggling like this on purpose? No. I would have been with my family you know I, i've been through too much and it wasn't even about the monetary value but it's just struggling mentally emotionally all these different things i had to go through my children had to go through with it, the things i'd endured you know it wasn't you know even about the money situation it's just being actually feel like you're being cared for someone you know because i didn't really get that you know I, like i told y'all before me and my mom's you know relationship didn't get better until you know towards the end of the into her process before she died and I'm very blessed about that but being able to go through this this has really gave me some strength so it's just like you know during the times of your spiritual awakening it can be very heavy you know when I found out a lot of, about a lot of things that people that I've known for like 15 to 20 years that I felt like I, we always talk about things but when this came about and they found out the truth you, there's a lot of people that ignored me they didn't want, they didn't care to hear it. They didn't want to know. And then, you know, at first they were okay about it. But then when they started saying it made sense and certain things because of things that happened or whatever, then they start shying away. You know, I, I didn't have anybody I can turn to. I didn't have anybody I could talk to about, you know, trying to get closure, you know, just trying to make sense. A lot of people didn't want me to be able to know that about myself or you know, they wanted to see if I was lying about it. You know, it was a sad situation. I mean, I even had somebody that so-called my best friend um, call me on my dad's anniversary and ask me, you know, <laughs> little questions like, I'm like, really, you gonna do this today? Out of all days, you're gonna do this today. You know, I had to block, block myself because I said, before I end up going off and saying something I ain't supposed to say, you know, I, I, I can't make up a lie when there isn't one, you know? But it was a lot of things I really had to go through. It was not pretty. But it's just like God and universe allows you to be able to be able to see people's true int intentions when stuff really hits the fan for you. So when they allow you to be able to see people for who they really are, you know, they always say, you know, you know, tough situations set up here and shows you people's true colors. So never get upset about those situations because that's a blessing in disguise because when you're going through certain things and you know you're about to be blessed, those people can't be there when you get it in the first place. And if they can't help you and be there for you during those dark times, they sure the hell don't need to be there when, you, when you're shining. So allow yourself to know who people are, you know, are there for you during those dark times and appreciate those people that stood by your side without any string attacks or string, strings attached or any hidden motives um, because those are the ones that you know truly had to be by your side you know going through all these different situations has blessed me beyond measures trust me even though you know I really went through some stuff like that but being able to know that you know I can open up and do this and knowing I'm being able to help other people that are going through some really traumatic situations to be able to know your life ain't all about sadness you know it's just all about how you tend to look at it how you tend to go down your path of knowing who you truly are the things that you have endured and where you're gonna go from there those are the things that are important but that's what situation right there is where your strength is gonna go in hyperdrive because when you start seeing people drop like flies you know 
<laughs> and not be in your life no more you know that's when your journey begins because the people you started off with ain't gonna be you'll be lucky if you still have a handful of people that ends the same way you started you know so it, it just exposed you to a lot of things but it's just been a blessing because I remember you know going through different things in my life you know I would see the red flags on how people treated me but just because I wanted friends because I was always that person was always, most likely by myself I just wanted people to be there you know now it's just like if I see those red flags I'm gonna walk away <laughs> you know I'm just like now I'm like Fort Knox you know I don't have no ill will towards nobody but once I get you out of my life I'm not about to bring you back in it you know <laughs> it's just not gonna do that you know we had our time we had our moment I appreciate that and good luck to you and <laughs> you have to really be it that way at times so don't get upset when you when God gives you that spotlight on people that are truly not supposed to be in your life because he will send you those red flags. So make sure you pay attention. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. You know, y'all have it, y'all working hard, and y'all about to get y'all blessings, but it's always going to be when you least expect it. So don't give up. Keep on fighting. Keep thriving because you're going to deserve everything that you've been asked for plus more. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. And, you know, be responsible and safe for everything you do. I'm going to go ahead and give a post notification shout out to Bezeal and Harrison Borton. But, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Tracy. Uh, Bortolone. I think I pronounced your last name right. My bad if I didn't. You know, like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace